Hello, and welcome to the first Thomas Soroki podcast. Today, we are starting out our very first episode with the topic, the internet. The industrialization of the internet, how the internet has affected us, the way that it affects us, what it does to our economy. That's what we're going to be talking about today. So strap in, get your popcorn. I know you got some. I know you got some popcorn. Everyone got popcorn. I want you right now. Go pop some popcorn. Come back. Pause the video. Go pop popcorn. Come back and be ready. Let's go. Now, how has it affected our way of lives? Well, the one uh, pretty obvious way that it has affected our life is the increased and in insane fast uh, forms of communication. For example, text messages, uh, emails, you know, you can text people over social medias now. These are all different ways that we can communicate very, very, very fast. And everyone knows, you know, fast communication can create uh, better relationships. It can create um, better businesses. You know, it can help your business because if you're, if you're, um, if you're too slow, then, well, it's not going to work. So move on. Let's go. Topic two, there's an amazing amount. Th this affects our uh, daily lives. Um, the increased way to get news. Um, news is a very big part of our lives. Everyone knows that. Um, we need news. We need. We want to know what's no going on around the world. We want to know what's happening in China, what's happening in India, what's happening in Russia. You know, all these different places. We want to know what's going on there. And the news is the way to find out. So instead of sitting on our couch and watching the TV and hoping that we get the news that we want. Now, with the internet, we can find the news that we want right away because of the internet is so fast. We can pick what we want to use. We can use uh, different sources. You know, some people want to watch CNN. Some people want to get their news from Fox. Some people want to get their news from NSNBC. You know, all these different places where someone can get news because that is a great way to make us smarter and, you know, stay connected with the real world. Third topic, education. Now, education is a big part of our lives, you know, from the age or, ages to five to 18, we're learning stuff, right? And education can help education, or, you know, the internet helps education in two ways. One, with a teacher, two, with a student. One, the teacher can send out assignments, can talk to their students, can help them, can email them, you know, you can find out, okay, my student's having this problem, I can help them with that. Or the student can say, wow, I'm having a problem. I can email my teacher, you know, another way that communication helps us. So the teacher, the student, they can email back and forth. They can communicate on stuff. Another way, a teacher can send out assignments. A teacher can send out videos. A teacher can assign different assignments online, which helps create, uh, you know, kids can learn better that way because they can learn at their own pace. They can, you know, rewind. You know, they're, they're not in a classroom where they have to write down all these notes. They can rewind. They can write down the note. Rewind, write down the note, which helps create better learning because you need a way, you need ways to learn. Also, education can help the student with information. So the internet is so vast and so fast and has so much information that one can go on the internet and find out exactly what they're talking about. They want to talk, someone wants to talk about Galileo's uh you know, experience. They can look it up. They can find what he did. Someone wants to look up what happened in World War II for this essay. You know, I need to find out what was Hitler's motivations. You know, uh, how did the U.S. Get in, the, get in the war? They can look that up and they can find out because the internet is so vast, so large, and so fast that they can find stuff like that. The information is wild and it helps students, you know, they can find what they need to find and they can do it quickly. They don't have to go to the library. They don't have to look through thousands and thousands of books, through thousands and thousands of pages. They can look up a precise words and they can find what they need to find. Last, the economy. The economy is a major part of our lives. Everyone knows that. The economy dictates what car we use, you know, what our house looks like, what kind of food we eat, you know, what we can do in our lives, what kind of phone we buy, you know. How does the internet help the economy? Well, let's talk about this. Businesses can, you know, they, they, they can transfer information fast you know they can find out okay i need to send this spreadsheet over there boom that's another way to help the economy businesses can work faster also um also 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 businesses have websites now internet's the internet's main foundation is websites you know um you know let's look at apple you know you need to find out um what kind of phone you want to buy you can go on apple.com find out which phone is best for you uh, um so there you go websites amazing because 
a website can give you the information that you need from the people that you need to hear it from, okay? Second, advertisements, or third, advertisements. Advertising on the internet, you know, it's not, it does, it's not cheap, costs a little bit of money, but it can help a lot because people are so much on the internet nowadays that they see advertisements and it goes subliminally in their brain and they think, wow, okay, I need this thing, right? Or they see something and they're like, wow, that looks like a really good product. Let me figure this out. Oh, this is what I need, you know? Someone's watching a YouTube video, right? They see an ad, hmm, that looks like an interesting product. Let me check this out. Boom, money to the business. Money, money, money. We need circulation of money. You know, businesses get the money uh, from people buying it, right? And that's another way that economy has helped. A last thing is that there's so many different ways to make money on the internet. And of course, money is a big part of the economy, right? So you could become a YouTuber, you know? You could become a YouTuber, you could become a TikToker, you can, you know, get famous on all these different websites and earn money that way. Or you can start, you could do startups, right? Startups have been very popular in the internet era due to the ability of anyone can create a startup, you know? Anyone can advertise, right? Anyone can learn to put it out on the internet and get it intriguing so that people want to learn about it through startups on the internet, you know? Look out, there's so many websites with startups, you know? Um, there's GoFundMes, there's, uh, you know, you know what I'm saying? There's a ton of different websites where people will, you know, they'll put out their business idea, they'll put out their product idea, and they can start on that, and they can make money, which is obviously awesome. Lastly, how does the internet affect our relationships with people, affect us socially, affect us, you know, how we talk to people? Well, with so many different social networking apps, such as, you know, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, all these different apps help people connect with each other. Also, Zoom, look at Zoom, you know, Zoom or Skype. People could connect with each other on the internet like they never could before. Before, you want to talk to a family member that lives far away, you got to write them a letter. Two weeks to, uh, two weeks to send, they got to write it, they got to read it, they got to write back another two weeks. It's four weeks between each letter going, right? That's not good. The internet, through apps like Instagram, um, Twitter, you know, Zoom, Skype, you can talk instantly with people. You can video chat instantly with people and find out what's going on in their lives. You can also share what you're doing in your life. You know, you can post on Instagram, hey, I'm doing this right now, you know? Uh, or you can go on Facebook, you can talk about, oh, I had this awesome family reunion or I had this awesome high school reunion. I wanna share this with people, which creates social networks. Also, you can meet so many new people online in apps, there's so many different apps, right? That you can meet new people online. You can create new friends. You can have great relationships with people across the country. You've never, you'd never be able to have that before the internet because the internet connects us, connects us, okay? So that's it. That's the end of the Thomas Soroki podcast, episode one, the internet and how it affects us. So I hope you had a fun time listening. I hope you ate all your popcorn because everyone knows you gotta have popcorn. You gotta have popcorn. So that's it. I hope all of you have a great day. Peace out.